One of the things that you're going to do inside of Illustrator at some point in your life is you're going to create point type. And once you're done creating the type, you probably should have created area type. I'm working with a document called convert.ai, and that's exactly what happened here. It's not uncommon to come over and choose the type tool, click, start adding some text, pressing return to add a new line, and continue to do that until you ultimately end up with an entire paragraph like I have here. So what's the problem with this being point type? Well, the problem is, what if you want to increase the overall area of the text object? So you can add an offset or whatever the case may be. Well, remember, if you click and drag one of these handles, you're actually scaling the content. And if that's not what you want, what you really need is Illustrator to treat this object as area type. I'm gonna go ahead and undo that. Well, you can do that easily enough. You'll notice with the text object selected, and of course the bounding box is visible. If your bounding box is not visible, you can come up to the view menu, and from the view menu, you can choose show bounding box. You'll see a little handle right here. All you have to do is double click it. And once you do, the handle becomes solid, and now you have area text. So you can increase the area. Then you could come up to the type menu, and from there you could choose area type options. You can select preview, and you can go ahead and add that offset. So you have a lot more capability here when you're dealing with a paragraph, when you're dealing with area type opposed to point type. And it goes the other way as well. If you decide that you have some area type that should be point type, just double click this handle and you'll notice it's converted back to point type. Of course, if you don't like double clicking for some reason, you can always come up to the type menu. And from the type menu, as long as the text object is selected, you can choose convert to area type. Or, of course, if it is area type, you can come up to the type menu and you can choose convert to point type. So there's a handy way to convert your text object into either point type or into area type.